everybody, this is that Trevor guy, Josh Runquist, and I'm here with Doc from God Forbid, who's going to be playing a show very shortly here at Station 4 in St. Paul, Minnesota. How's it going? It's going good, man. Thanks for uh, coming down. Oh, uh, not a problem. I, I've been wanting to see you guys since uh, Gone Forever came off. What? You've never seen us? This is actually my first time. Wow. You've been here a few times. Oh, <laughs> uh, I know. It's just like a, every time either it was like a 18 or 20 plus show mm -hmm. or I was out of town. Okay. So I'm glad I can actually see you for a headlining show. Really, just like main support. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, we had, I think last time we were in the area was with Lamb of God um, at the Mitt. Yeah, that's right. You know, so it's, yeah, it's, it's fun to have live, especially we got a new record out, so it's a bunch of new songs that, you know, you always have a lot more fun playing new songs than old songs. <laughs> oh, very much so. Yeah, uh, Scraping the Walls uh, is probably my favorite song in 2012 right now. Yeah, I've been on a God forbid binge the last couple days once I heard that was like, you guys. I was so happy, I just had to hear everything. And, uh, listening back on Equilibrium, like, that song got me more than anything, so. Yeah, that's, I like the whole album. Yeah, Matt. There's, there's, there's so many different. The drum head at my Oh, sorry. I can cut that out, that song. Oh, that's a fuck right here. That's a good one. I think that's, that's definitely a great song. You know, there's, you all are super diverse, you know, there's like, really heavy songs, really melodic songs, and, you know, and everyone, it seems like, has a different favorite song. You know, so it's 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 really, really cool. You know, thank you. Oh, not a problem. And that's a really good sign of an album when you have that kind of diversity while mm -hmm. still capturing your own sound. Mm -hmm. And I think you guys really did that with Equilibrium. Yeah, it's definitely tough because if you, you're too diverse, then it's like people are like, well, what do you? You don't know what you want to be. You know, you're trying to kind of be a master with a jack of all trades, master of none, or mm -hmm. something like that. Or, uh, but you know, I, I think I think it, the transition worked well and the, the variety. Was Sense, you know, at least for what we like for our team. Oh, very much so. And uh, I noticed that you guys have been doing a few off dates uh, from the Trespass America tour mm -hmm. with uh, Battlecross. How's that been going so far? Oh, I mean, the, the shows are, they are modest but fun, you know. Um, it's just, you know, we do some of these big tours and, you know, financially you kind of need every little bit that can help, you know, to kind of make, you know, make sure you can pay your bills and, and do that stuff. So we added dates and wherever we can, because oftentimes on tour when you're not, if you're not making money, you're spending money. You know, so on days off, you know, you gotta go and you know go to movies and go eat and do all as much stuff. But so it's good to try to just keep uh, keep it moving. You know, from a business standpoint, you know, and, it's, and you get to play places that you otherwise didn't have a chance to on the regular tour. Oh, very much so. And uh, how's the full tour been going so far? I mean, it, it just started, right? Yeah, we're we've done four shows on that tour, and it's a uh, yeah, it's I mean, it's a it's a big show. It's a big production. Um, you know, five feet death punch is really going super ambitious with like their light show and, and the staging. You know, so it's it's been great from that standpoint. You know, even though we're playing early, we're still playing in front of a really big crowd. Uh, their crowd's really receptive. Um, and it, you know, start off in you know, kind of you know we're in like North Dakota, South Dakota, Montana, kind of off the beaten path places. You know, so it'd be even more interesting if you kind of get into some of the more major cities and, and stuff like that. But it's a it's a great tour. It's, all the bands are so good that's like. I, I'll make sure I watch your advantage because it's enjoyable. It's bands that I like, bands I'm, I'm fans of. So that's yeah, and it's a really diverse tour too. I mean, you got bands like God Forbid, and you have bands like Pop Evil and My Fair Death Punch. It's really cool. Yeah, I mean, I think there's, you know, we, you know, luck. There's a handful of bands that share a lot of common ground, and a couple bands. You know, some bands are a little heavier, some bands are a little lighter, but it, it covers all the, uh, I guess, aspects of the, the heavy music uh, realm. You know, and, and it's just just good bands, old friends, you know, fr you know friends with a lot of people on the tour, so it's it's very comfortable from that respect. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so how the like uh, say like Fire and Death Punch fans, how have they been receptive to your set? Great, you know, I mean, there are bands like that, you know, tend to actually have really open-minded fans, you know, because they're not, you know, they're they're not elitist, they're not, um, you know, necessarily jaded or anything, you know, they're they're. Coming with it with a pretty open mind, and, and you gotta keep in mind it's a long show, and the fact that they're there early means they want to see the opening bands and they want to experience the whole the whole the whole day. So um, you know, it's just it's just fortunate you know we get some tour band, a big you know, band like that. You know we, we've gotten the retro Slipknot. And, you know when you're you're playing in front of really large crowds of people that are actually receptive and, and want to hear new, new music, and they they have, they have a diverse fan base too. So it's Families and people in their thirties and forties, a lot of military people, and then they also have, you know, teenagers. You know, so it's it's just good. It's fun. Yeah. Oh, very cool. Uh, so, was it Fight Finger Death Punch that got you on the tour, or was it your label that got you on there? Or how no, did that work no, out? So if 
they were not a fan of our band and didn't go to bat for us, we would not be on the tour. You know, so it's, I mean, yeah, and there's other factors, you know, and, and our label made a pitch and our, uh, you know, our agent, you know, did their thing, you know, but ultimately we're on that tour because five people didn't punch one us on the tour, so, you know, it can't be, you know, that's tremendous support. We definitely thank those guys a lot, you know, definitely says a lot because most bands just either don't have the clout to do that or just don't really want to put the, put the effort to do that. So it, it, it means a lot to us and they're, you know, stand-up guys. Oh, I'm very glad to hear that. Yeah, because yeah, I, was, I was so excited when I heard, like, initially the tour was going to happen. Mm -hmm. I was thinking it was going to come up here, so. And then when I heard, like, the closest was either Milwaukee or Chicago. Mm -hmm. uh, I was really disappointed because that's, like, a six-hour drive, and I probably wouldn't have been able to make it. But, like, hearing this off day with you in Battlecross, I was so happy to. Yeah, it's, to um, on. it's weird. It hits a lot of places you wouldn't think it does. and skips a lot of places you think it would, but, you know, we're not, we don't really run that part of things. We just kind of tell us where we're playing, and then we go. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that works out too, though. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so for the updates, uh, did you choose Battle Cross to be opening for you guys, or how did yeah, that? Yeah, I mean, we didn't, we didn't want. You know, sometimes it's you know, it's just just you and just local bands. You know, I think people might be less tempted to come out, but if you have another kind of known band, another side band, it's gonna at least give people a little more of an incentive. They're gonna you know bring out a few people there who want to see them, and, and it just makes it feel a little bit more like a like a real show instead of just got the baby. And local bands. I'm not saying the local bands aren't, aren't great, you just you don't know what you're going to get really that. At least we don't know, you know from, from day to day. And, uh, and they have a nice buzz going on. And, and uh, you know, that's cool too. You know, you're helping them out because they, you know, so they can make some extra money and, and stay busy on the days off. Yeah, and, and they're just starting to get on the rise too. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. To they're see. Doing, and they're doing great, man. They're, they're really hardworking, really, really good guys, really good live bands. So I'm happy that, uh, that things are happening for them. Yeah, me too. I saw them back in April and they put on a hell of a live mm -hmm. show, mm -hmm. which I'm expecting from you guys too, of course. <laughs> uh, and, and speaking of that, uh, are you guys focusing more on the new album or are you spending the whole discography or how do you normally do it with uh, that many shows? This, this set is kind of half and half between old and new. Um, part of that is just really on the, the trespass shows, we have such a short set, we don't really get a chance to play very much, so we're really kind of like working on songs. Like, or, you know, some of these songs we just haven't played live much, so we're this is our only time to really get a chance to play them in, in, in the live format and see what works and what doesn't work and which songs are come, going over well and um, you know so so it is it is you know definitely favored to the to the new album um, and really to prepare ourselves for the trespass show. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so so what do you plan on doing after this tour is done? Right now I don't, I don't know. We're uh, our bass player is getting married. Uh, coming up, so we're, we're taking some time off so that he can do that and mm -hmm. so we can be a part of that um, and go, go to his wedding. Um, we, we'll see, we got some things that we get some possible opportunities coming up, but uh, we'll see what happens. Ah, cool. Uh, as I know it's uh, uh, equal and just came off, but uh, is there any new riffs that you guys are working on yet? I mean, we had songs left over from, from the, you know, the stuff that we didn't get to work on. So, yeah, I, got, I, I always have stuff. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I, I think about new, new record right now. So. Oh yeah. Uh, so, is there anything else you'd like to say to anybody watching this or hearing this right now? No, just thank you for your support. You know, follow me on Twitter, doc 4 vid And uh, I have a lot to do that when I get home. There you go. There you go. Um, I got you on Facebook, so. Cool. Well, t Twitter's even better. Cause it's like it's immediate. It's it's connected to my Facebook, and my Facebook is actually maxed out, so I can't add any, any more people. So. Uh, mm -hmm. You can always get me on Twitter, though. So. Ah, cool. But you know, you know, come out to the shows, buy equilibrium, you know, help us out. You know, if you will enjoy it. Or you won't, and you'll feel ripped off. And at that point, I don't care. <laughs> you will ripped off. That's right. <laughs> uh, so, once again, this is Doc from God Forbid. This is that German guy, Josh Rumpus. Thank you. <laughs>